Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about jobs, where coding skills are transferable. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, are there any jobs where coding skills are transferable, but where you barely have to talk to other people? As you can imagine, the last few questions have been asked by the same person who really doesn't want to talk to anybody else. But I'm going to answer it truthfully and honestly and give it a bash. Uh, so the only roles that of let's just say off the top of my head that I can think about where your coding skills are going to be useful, um, like number one would be pen testing as an example. The reason isn't because a pen tester doesn't have to necessarily talk to anybody else. It really depends on the type of work that you do. If you are, say, a consultant pen tester or something like that, I mean, at the end of the day, what most of the pen testers are doing for other companies is to produce a report of security leaks and issues. And you can do most of that over, like, uh, I mean, shit. Most companies that I've worked with, they will hire consultant agencies at like the cheapest, cheapest prices you can imagine, from abroad or something like that. They're outsourcing all of that stuff because like they just need the report. Okay, these are the findings, and usually you give them a scope definition of like these are the endpoints or these are the environments. These uh, this is in scope, this is out of scope, etc., etc. And then they give you an estimate on how much money to time etc etc that's going to take and then you give them a date and they do their things and you might email back and forth a few times but that's pretty much it and as a pen tester it's not that common that you collaborate on I mean, unless you really do work in that fashion. Uh, I mean, it's the same thing for software developers. Some software developers talk to their coworkers all the time. Some of them practically never communicate outside of emails or pull requests or something like that. It's the same sort of deal, guys. Uh, bug hunting is another one. Uh, if you want to be a bug bounty hunter, where th that's an area where coding skills are very useful. But it's also where, I mean, if you're a freelancer, bug, hunt bug bounty hunter or bug hunter, it's you, you you just you run your own business and you report things to the companies that you work for that's pretty much it you never have to talk to anybody uh, practically QA work is also something that you could do um, depending on the QA work it's the same sort of deal being a like a tester or something like that uh, you can of course collaborate and so forth but I mean the QAs that I've worked with that are on the like uh, that fall into the bucket of not having to socialize all that much they practically never speak to anybody outside of comments on like a story card or a slack message in an instant messaging system and then they're just doing their thing because it's once again one of those things that where you don't really collaborate on anything uh, depending on you know it's always it's all you also have to of course understand that everything varies a little bit it, it's I can't like give you like the absolute truth for every single possible scenario but it's these are just trends or like common things that I see in the roles uh, and lastly this is just some I don't I don't expect you to to do this but you can be a programming content creator uh, if I go by but what I've seen a lot of the tutorial makers out there and like what they're doing uh, yeah you can take your coding skills and make tutorials and basic videos and so forth and as long as you know how to do that you don't really have to interact with anybody um, it's a pretty straightforward thing to do if you want to do it in isolation. It's not something that is all that easy. It requires effort and it's not something that is like a 9 to 5 job, but it's something you could do if you want to use your coding skills for something else. And honestly, I've seen this more times than than I I, I don't want to say this or that about it, but it seems to me that there's a lot of people who make that decision to go you know what? I don't want to do coding. I want to teach beginners how to code. To each his own, but uh, 
I would be curious what's really going on there because then when I see the videos that they are making uh, yeah it's I'm not gonna read too much into it because now I'm gonna get it and then I'm gonna get opinionated but it feels to me as if the people who are making the content that is a little bit more advanced and like uh, like more in line with professional standards they just they stay in programming and the people who make the beginner level content they get out of programming not sure what's going on there but that's something you could do so what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to do something besides programming, just use your programming skills and at the same time never talk to anybody, well, then there are a few jobs that I can think, you can probably think of a few as well, uh, but these are the only ones I could think of while sitting here with my bestie here. Uh, pen testing, definitely something the way you could pretty much do it without a lot of interactions if you wanted to. Bug bounty hunting is the similar sort of thing, QA work is also a similar sort of thing, and lastly, you're creating tutorials for beginners or things like that. Because honestly, as I've said a hundred times before, uh, learning the basics about software development, you can literally learn that from anybody. You do not need to be a professional grade software developer to create like Udemy courses or or blogs or YouTube videos or anything like that and you're still for the most part going to get it right because the basics are so simple that anybody with a, like a mid-level software developer even like a gifted junior is going to be able to make something that is worth paying for then but then again you you're going to have to get into the game of trying to convince everybody that they should pay for your specific content and that's a whole different ballgame. Have a great day.